Good morning, students. Good morning, morning ma'am. Ma Do you remember as to what we studied in the previous class? Yes, yes ma'am. We, we studied about the degrees of polynomials. Good. Can anyone list the different types of polynomials? Monomial, binomial, trinomial. Very good. Can anyone tell me whether the degree of the zero polynomial is defined or not? No, ma'am, it is not defined. Excellent. In today's class, we will be discussing about arithmetic polynomials in detail. So let's do a quick recap as to whatever we studied in the previous class. We studied about polynomials. So what is a polynomial? A polynomial is an arithmetic expression which consists of variables and constants that involves four fundamental arithmetic operations and non-negative integer exponent of variables. We also studied about the standard form of a polynomial. So how can you write a polynomial p of x? You can either write it in decreasing or increasing order in the powers of x. So this is an example of it. You first write x power 2, then power 1 and then a constant. Next, we also studied about the degree of the polynomial. The highest power of the variable is called the degree of the polynomial. We studied about the three different types of polynomials that is monomial, binomial and trinomial. So, in mono, monomial, what do we have? It is a polynomial which consists of only one term. So, these are the examples of a monomial. Next, we studied about binomial. A binomial is a polynomial which consists of two terms. For example, 5x plus 3 or 4a minus 2. Next, we studied about trinomial. A trinomial is a polynomial which consists of three terms. So, this is an example. See, this consists of three terms. Right? And then, we also studied about coefficient and variable. Right, students? So, a variable, it is a, it is a symbol which takes various numerical values. See, for example, 5a plus 7. If you see over here, a. A is the variable. Then, what is a constant? It is a symbol which has a fixed numerical value. Again, in the same example, if you see, 7 over here is a constant. Now, phi over here is the coefficient of a. Got it, students? So, it is the coefficient of a. These are the topics which, to, which has to be discussed today. These are the topics which will be will these are the topics which will be discussed today. So we are going to discuss about arithmetic of polynomials in which we are going to learn about addition, subtraction and multiplication of polynomials. Let's learn addition of two polynomials with the help of an example. So this is the question given to us. So the question is 8y plus 4y square minus 12 should be added to 5 plus 3y cube minus 13y. Okay. So, step 1, first of all, you are supposed to rewrite this polynomial in standard form. So, rewriting it in standard form, what do we get? First, we have to write the one which the with the highest power. So, power 2 term I have written, then with the power 1 term and then the constant is written. Got it, students? Next, in a similar manner, you are supposed to rewrite this polynomial also in the standard form. So, the first thing which has to be uh, written down is the term with cube and then with power 1 and then a constant. Now, this is an example of addition of two polynomials using vertical way. There are two ways. One is vertical, another one is horizontal. You can do in both the ways. So, this is the vertical way. So, first, for our first equation, whatever is given to us has been written over here. Right? Next, do we have any y cube term? No, we do not have. So, this is written down over here separately. Then, this the minus 13y has to be written beneath the 8y only, not beneath y square term. Got it? Y, you have to combine the terms with the correct variable. You are not supposed to combine it, combine the powers of 3 with 2 or 2 with 1 or with the constant. No. The powers has to be combined exactly with the same power. If there is a cube term over here, then cube term should be written over here. If there is a square term, square term should be written over here. 
over here that is y term so i have written minus 13 y down over here then i am left out with plus 5 plus 5 is a constant so i have written down beneath the constant only then it is mere addition so it is 0 plus 3 y cube which will give me 3 y cube only so 4 y square plus 0 again will give me 4 y square only minus plus 8y and minus 13y if you see these there is a uh, different signs so what happens if there are different signs you're supposed to subtract and then write the uh, sign of the greater number first of all if you subtract you will get 5 13 minus 8 is 5 and then the greater number sign you have to put the greater number over here is 13 which consists of the negative symbol so i have written the negative sign over here Yes, and then this in the similar manner, I have to also calculate the constant. So, it's minus 12 plus 5. Again, there is a different of signs. So, I'm supposed to subtract and write the symbol of the greater number. So, 12 is the greater number. So, 12 has minus. So, I have written minus. I hope everybody has understood. Next, moving on to subtraction of polynomials. So, this is the question given to me. 6x square plus 4x minus 2 minus 3x square minus 2x plus 7. So, I am going to explain this example with the uh, horizontal way. Earlier, we studied the addition of polynomials using vertical way. Now, we are going to study using horizontal way. Okay, I will just tell you what to do. Step 1, you are supposed to open up the bracket of the second polynomial given to us this is the first polynomial and this is the second polynomial got it students this is the second polynomial so step one you're supposed to open this brackets over here how will you open you have to multiply minus with each and every term each and every term see over here let us this is the given question so over here what are you supposed to do is supposed to change the symbol if you change the symbol what will happen this this minus into plus 3x square will give me minus then minus into minus will give me plus then minus into plus will give me minus in turn got it students so and then i have to write down my term as it is then as usual i have to add them so if i add uh, let me rewrite the question once again so what do I get? 6x square term and then the minus 3x square term. I have written, I have simply combined with the like terms together. Like terms in the sense, the terms with the same power. See, x square, x square, they have the same power, right? So, I have combined. Then I have my x term. Which is my x term? I have 4x over here. Then I have plus 2x over here. And then I have to write minus 2 and then minus 7 that's what i have simply combined the like terms together so that it will be easy for me to calculate so if i do this what will i get 6x square minus 3x square will give me 3x square only so 4x plus 2x 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 2 minus 9 minus 7 is minus 9 See students, you are not supposed to add the x square term with x term or x term with the constant term. No, not done. You are simply supposed to calculate as in add or subtract the term with the same power. Got it students? 6x square and 3x square alone. Is of, these are the like terms. This is what you are supposed to add or subtract with. Got it? So, we have to write the solution as it is. Next. We are going to learn about multiplication of polynomials. So, how do you multiply two polynomials? Listen, this is the given question to me, right? So, what is the given question? I have to multiply x minus 5 with x square plus 4x minus 6. Okay, this is again very simple. Let us first do distribute x and minus 5. See this, x and minus 5. So, first let us multiply x with all the terms of this polynomial then write minus 5 again minus 5 has to be multiplied with all the terms of this polynomial which is there in this second step i hope you can understand x is multiplied with all the terms of the polynomial then minus 5 is multiplied with all the terms of the polynomial now 
each and every term has to be multiplied with x of this polynomial. So, x into x square plus x into 4x plus x into minus 6. Then, minus 5 into x square minus 5 into 4x. And then there is, if you see carefully, there is minus sign over here and plus sign over here. And you know very well that minus into plus again gives me minus only. You have to be very careful in all these steps, students. Then, minus 5 into minus 6. Yes. Next step. What happens is, you are supposed to multiply x with x square. It is nothing but you are simply supposed to add the powers. See, x over here has 1. It is invisible, but then it is understood that it is. it has power 1. So, x power 1 plus 2 gives me 3. Likewise, for x power 1, x power 1. If you add 1 plus 1, it gives you 2. Got it? And then, uh, you have this. Or, we are just skipping this for the moment. I will tell you why. Then, we are getting back to x square term. If you get, that is, minus 5 x square. Right? And then, you write this down. You can do however you want. You can rearrange however you want. That does not make a difference. Minus and plus again gives me minus itself 6 into x is 6x and then i have already done this over here so i'm skipping it and then next term is 4 into minus 5 which will give me minus 20 x as it is i have to write and then minus into my minus will give me plus and 6 into 5 is 30 now what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to combine the like terms see do i have any x cube term anywhere no i don't have any x cube term so, what am I supposed to do? I am simply supposed to write the x cube as it is. Now, see whether you have any x square term. Do you have? Yes, you have. Now, well, let us block it up. Okay, these are the two terms with x square. Now, we are supposed to or simplify them. How will you simplify? So, uh, it has left both has the different signs. So, it is simply supposed to subtract and then write the greater number sign. So, minus 5 and plus 4 will give me minus 1. x square as it is will be written. Then, what do I have? My uh, Then, I have to combine x terms together. How will I combine x terms together? x minus 6 minus 20x. Right? Minus 6x minus 20x. Leave the x alone. Now, just combine the constants. I mean, constant in the sense coefficient. So, what do you get? Minus minus is simply supposed to add and then put the negative sign. Right? So, 20 plus 6 will give me 26. I have to put the negative sign. x, I have also written it down. Then do I have any other constant left out? No. So, I have only 30. I have nothing to combine 30 with. So, I have written down 30 as it is. I hope everybody understood. Yes, students. Now, let us proceed to exercise 3.1. Sixth sum. Okay. What does it state? Suppose to subtract the second polynomial from the first polynomial and then find the degree of the resultant polynomial. Okay. So, what is the given question? H of z is equals to z square minus 6z power 4 plus z, then f of z equals to 6z square plus 10z minus 7. Okay. How do we solve this is, first what have they given to us? Subtract the second polynomial from the first polynomial. Okay. Let us proceed to exercise 3.1, fix the sum. So, we are supposed to subtract the second polynomial from the first polynomial and then find the degree of the resultant polynomial. This is the given question. H of z equals to z power 5 minus 6z power 4 plus z. Then f of z equals to 6z square plus 10z minus 7. Okay, let us proceed to the solution. Okay, let us rewrite the question. So, H of z and f of z. So, what have they said? We are supposed to subtract the second polynomial from the first polynomial. Basically, we are supposed to subtract h of z minus f of z. Now, let us write the value of h of z. We have written it down over here. Then, we have to put minus as it is given the question. Then, we have to write the value of f of z. Why is it written in, within the bracket is because it, we have to subtract and by subtracting what happens? Sign changes. That is why we have written down in the bracket. I also insist all the students to write down the second polynomial in the within the brackets only while solving the sum. Okay. Next step, what do we do? We have to write these first three terms as it is. This, what happens over here is minus into plus 
6 z square gives me minus then minus into plus 10 z gives me minus 10 z then minus into minus gives me plus 7 as it is next step what am i supposed to do let us rearrange it in with the like terms together that part 5 do you have any other term with part 5 no so just write z part 5 as it is do you have any other term with z part 4 no then we can write the second term as it is minus 6 z part 4 then yes you have a term with z square i mean i'm sorry you do not have a term with z square as well so write down minus 6 z square as it is and then you do have a term with z you have right so let's write, uh, write plus z then minus 10 z then the constant as it is now what are we supposed to do write down the first three terms as it is because it has nothing to do i mean we don't have anything common so let us only combine z and minus 10 z again if you see there is difference of symbol which means difference of signs so you're supposed to subtract and then put the greater number sign which I have over here, I have put minus and then z minus 10 z is 9 z. Then I have written down the constant as it is. Now, what is the, I am done with the sum, but then I have to also find the degree of the resultant polynomial. What do you mean by degree of the resultant polynomial? The highest degree. If you see carefully, the highest degree over here is 5. So I have written down the degree of the polynomial. Got it, students? Let's move on to the next question, question number 7. So the question says, what should be added to 2x cubed plus 6x square minus 5x plus 8 to get 3x cubed minus 2x square plus 6x plus 15. Okay, so how do we do the sum is, first of all, what should be added in the place of that add some variable, anything. I have just written z, but you can write whatever you want. First of all, write that add it so put the plus symbol 2 they have given some polynomial so just write the polynomial as it is to get so basically this is what you have supposed to get which means equal to so and so yes next step what happens this plus so and so polynomial will be shifted to the other side so plus symbol over here becomes minus and then it is written down as it is in the bracket i hope you can understand students i would like to repeat so the question says what should be added in the place of what should be added i have written some variable let it be z added so i have put plus two so and so polynomial so i have written it down to get which means equal to this polynomial i have written down then what happens i have simply sh uh, shifted this polynomial to the other side why because i have to find this z that is what they have given right or that is what they have asked right what should be added to so what is the z let us first find out so this plus if it goes over here it becomes minus and it is within and it is written down within the brackets next step what happens i am supposed to remove the bracket so what happens minus into plus 2z cube gives me minus 2z i'm sorry it's not z cube it's x cube then minus into plus 6x square is minus a different sign so i have written i have to write minus only then minus into minus is plus 5x then minus into plus is again minus 8 as it is it's written next step you're supposed to combine the like terms together like terms together in the sense the terms with the same part the x cube term you have to combine then x square term you're supposed to combine then x term and then the constant terms you're supposed to combine like this i have i have combined then i have to simply simplify 3 minus 2 gives me 1 so x cube 1 x cube then minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8 plus 6 plus 5 is plus 11 i should not forget to write the variable x got it and then the constant 15 minus 8 is 7 so this is the answer this is what has to be added to this polynomial in order to get this got it students moving on to question number 9 
multiply the following polynomials and find the degree of the resultant polynomial okay this is the given question p of x and q of x is given to us okay solution so they have said that we are supposed to multiply p of x and q of x okay first of all let us write the value of p of x p of x say equals to x square minus 9 i have written down then we have to write q of x q of x means 6x square plus 7x minus 2 i have written down next step i am supposed to distribute x square and 9 so first i will multiply x square with each and every term of this polynomial then i will multiply minus 9 with each and every term of this polynomial i have distributed x square and minus 9 okay now i have to multiply x square into 6x square 6 will remain as it is so x has the same basis so i can add the pass so after adding what do i get 2 plus 2 is 4 6x power 4 done with the first term now let's move on to the second term it is 7x into x square 7 will remain as it is x square and x the bases are same so i can add the pass 2 and power 1 will give me power 3 then moving on to the third term minus 2 x square that's it because there's nothing to multiply over here so it will come as this next i have to multiply minus 9 with each and every term so minus 9 into 6 will give me minus 54 and x square as it is will be written minus 9 into plus 7 will give me minus 63 and then x as it is will be written then minus 9 into minus 2 will give me plus 18 next step what am i supposed to do i am supposed to combine the like terms so if you see there is no power with 4 and 3 so it will be written as this but then you can combine these two minus 2 minus 54 will give me minus 56 so i have to combine then the rest will be written as it is yes and then what is the next part of the question i have to find the degree of the resultant polynomial which means the highest degree so which is the highest degree over here power 4 right so the degree of the polynomial is 4 moving on to the next question number 10 the cost of a chocolate is rupees x plus y and Amir bought x plus y chocolates find the total amount paid by him in terms of x and y if x equals to 10 and y equals to 5 find the amount paid by him okay let's proceed so what is given to us in the question the cost of the chocolate is x plus y it seems okay Amir bought how many chocolates x plus y chocolates total num amount paid by him would be how much the cost of the chocolate with the number of the chocolates right see let us try to understand this better with the help of an example see for example if you have bought 10 chocolates dairy milk chocolates and then uh, each dairy milk chocolate costs 10 rupees so how much will you pay for 10 chocolates multiplied with 10 rupees am i right similar way instead of giving it in amount they have given it in al uh, algebraic expression they have told the cost of the chocolate is x plus y likewise the number of chocolates is also x y x plus y it seems how much is the total amount to be paid we have to multiply multiply what and what the cost of the chocolate and the number of chocolates yes again multiply means you're supposed to multiply each and every term of x with the, this polynomial and then y with this polynomial first of all let us multiply x x into x will give me x square next x into y will give me x y next y into x will give me y x i can also write it as x y doesn't make a difference then y into y is y square next i have to combine the like terms x square there is no other term with x square so just let it be then x y and x y of course the coefficient of x y and x y is 1 1 plus 1 gives me 2 x y is written then there's no other term for y square so it is written out as it is next what am i supposed to do i am supposed to substitute the value of x and y over here x is 10 and y is 5 so while substituting what do i get in the place of x i have to put 10 and in the place of y i have to put 5 i get the answer as 225 so 
the 225 is the amount which has to be paid by got it students so let's do a quick recap as to whatever i studied in today's class we studied about arithmetic of polynomials we studied as to how to add subtract and multiply with the following rules right okay so the rest of the sums will be given to you all through whatsapp thank you students